Hey guys, Jake and Telus here. So today I'm working on my laptop and I realized for Pro Tools on my laptop, I don't use it that often and I don't have a lot of the shortcuts programmed that I do in the studio. Now I'm referring to things I have programmed into the Mac preferences since in Pro Tools you can't customize your own shortcuts and some menu items don't have shortcuts. So I like to add shortcuts for speed and efficiency. So let's get right to it. Um, how you do this is you're gonna go to the Apple on the top left side system preferences and then you're going to hit shortcuts and pretty much you know there's a bunch of options here with like preset shortcuts launch pad mission control keyboard stuff screenshots which i use a lot services spotlight accessibility and app shortcuts is what we would use for any app not just pro tools but any app on your computer at all and anything that's in the menu that doesn't have a shortcut or you want to change a shortcut you can pretty much use this to add your own shortcuts in. So let's actually look in Pro Tools what I want to program before I start adding stuff. So I know for a fact that color palette is something I use a ton for organization purposes, and I like having a shortcut on it. It's, it's not a big deal, but I find it does speed things up a drop for me. So what you want to do is take note of the spelling, exactly how it shows up in the menu, and then you're going to go back to your preferences and hit the plus mark. Now you wanna select the application that you want it to trigger. So in our case, Pro Tools, so hit the P and let's go down until we see Pro Tools and click that. And now it says menu title. So we wanna add the menu title exactly how it shows up. So it's color palette. And then you wanna basically tell it what, sh what shortcut you want to trigger the color palette to open. So I think that option C is free in Pro Tools. And let's make that the shortcut and let's go to Pro Tools and test it out. So option C and, you know, change the color of a track. So as you can see, that works. As you can see also that now that we made the shortcut in, in the uh, preferences, it shows up here as well. So if you ever forget what it is, you can go there or the preferences to check it. So the next one I'll do, let's do IO. So let's take note of the spelling there and let's go back to the preferences, hit the plus mark on the bottom here. So for the IO, I'm gonna do option Z because I find myself redoing it a lot as I update my templates and sessions. So now let's hit enter or add. And again, that's, I made option Z. You can make it whatever you want. Just make sure it's not something that's being taken in Pro Tools or whatever app you're doing this in because of, of course, these shortcuts can work in any app on your Mac. So now let's go back into Pro Tools. Let's test it out. So this should open up the IO settings. So I'm gonna do option Z. And as you can see, this opened up the IO setup. It was fantastic. And you will see the shortcut option Z showed up there as well. So, I mean, these two are just two ideas. I mean, it's pretty endless what you can do. And, you know, if you want to get further on shortcut type of stuff, of course, the Mac one is cool. But, I mean, some companies offer, like, things that you can program macros on, like the Slate Batch Commander and a company called Keyboard Maestro and Quick Keys. So you can actually have something programmed to do like 10 steps or hundreds of steps with one keystroke if you program it in. And perhaps I'll do some more videos on it. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.